Welcome everyone, Kyle here. It is Saturday and you guys know what that means by now. It's weekly purchases, our Saturday tradition where we discover what came through the mail, what the DHL guy brought me, what the Amazon guy brought, what the postal service got, what I found in stores, and speaking of stores, it was a banner week for figure hunting for me. Hopefully you guys checked out Friday's video, my weekly fig hunts. It was a long one, about double the length, as I uh, had to take a business trip down to Missouri. Some call it the show me state, and they showed me a lot of new figures, so good kudos to you, Missouri. Uh, I spent my nights uh, figure hunting, basically, So and I recorded the process for you guys. So a ton of stuff I've never seen in the stores, some hot finds. Definitely, definitely check that video out. You're going to see a lot of that stuff uh, in the, today's video, but you'll be able to see where I found it and how I found it uh, live and in person, like you were there beside me, I guess. So big, big week of figure hunting, and then it was also a big week on the channel. You know, we did a lot of unboxings, did uh, two Power Ranger unboxings, first time ever uh, doing Power Ranger unboxings. I did two Star Wars long game unboxing. You guys know I talk the long game all the time. Uh, figures that I wait, don't purchase right away, got to get a deal out there, and that's what I did. Uh, so I have two of those videos on Star Wars. They kind of went off the rails. Uh, a lot of jokes, a lot of messing around, so not your typical reviews. Uh, you know, Watch the one with Princess Leia. You can find out about all about uh, what you wear in a nursing home on a Saturday night and why creator shirts aren't allowed at uh, in the nursing home. So some really cool ones, and on top of all that, the favorite video of the week for me to do, the Jack's Classic Superstars video. Popping one of those out continually every week. We got about, uh, I don't know, a year left of videos still to go. So there's a lot of figures, but I know a lot of you guys uh, enjoy those. A lot of good discussion on the channel. So make sure you're uh, watching every video out there. There's a lot of stuff to dig into. And don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment. All that kind of fun stuff as well. But uh, let's get into the week that was. And I had some disappointment this week. Uh, Pre-order disappointment. Uh, you guys all know about the legend set that's supposed to come, I think, in November from Target. It's got Eddie Guerrero, the Ultimate Warrior, which I'm so excited about. Well, I pre-ordered those day one. I got canceled on all of them. Every single one was canceled for me this week. No rhyme, no reason. Very disappointed. But I think we all know how it goes at this point. Uh, with the last Target Legends, I ordered those. I got the Bobby Heenan, I got the Razor a couple weeks after I found him in the stores. Greg Valentine was totally canceled for me. Well, you guys have seen I found many a Valentine. My guess, I'm going to find all these in the stores uh, before I would have even got the pre-order anyways. I just like that pre-order as a safety net, a just-in-case. I've never needed to really use it, but it's nice to have, and then I can trade them or uh, help somebody else out in need um, if I do get them and I didn't need them, but... Anyways, Target Legends orders all canceled. And then uh, this week, Decade of Domination, Walmart. I ordered those the second they went on sale. Uh, delayed till October 30th now. They were supposed to be 9.30 ship. Now it's October 30th. So I gotta believe with all the new figures and kind of the mini reset that's going on at Walmart uh, here beginning of October, mid-October, Decade of Domination should probably hit in the next two weeks. I bet I'll have the whole set two times over before I even get my pre-order in. I don't know, very frustrating. And then another one this week was, uh, maybe you guys that follow along on Amazon, Marvel Legends, the new Game Reverse Wave, the Joe Fix-It Build-A-Figure Wave. Those were on pre-order over the weekend from Amazon. They got moved up. The shipping date got moved. They were supposed to ship yesterday, uh, October 1st or whatever yesterday was, uh, Friday. Supposed to get those Friday. Didn't happen. Friday morning got a, hey, a delay in your shipment. So that was kind of disappointing that they moved up the release date from November. Now it's all over the place. It's like second week October for one, then mid-October, and I think one of them's even in November. So once again, I'm guessing I'll find all these in the store before I find them uh, via the mail and my pre-orders. And people have already been seeing that Gamerverse uh, wave. There was reports of last Sunday, basically one day after HasbroCon, people were finding that Game Reverse Wave in the store. How big of a surprise and shock to the world would it have been if they didn't announce that the day before and people found it in the store, not even knowing they existed or anything? That would have been absolutely crazy, but uh, is what it is. But the pre-order game is tough. I mean, it's almost a waste of time at this point to even pre-order anything. The only reason I guess I do it is for a little safety net, like I said, so... 
there it is. Uh, very, very strange. Uh, we did see this week uh, some new figure announcements. Obviously, last week was huge with Hasbro, the Marvel, Star Wars, all the Hasbro stuff. Well, we did find out uh, some pre-order dates from Ringside Collectibles. You guys know I always order from Ringside. Uh, Elite 82. Uh, that's the Jerry Lawler set. That's the one I'm most excited for. It's got the Rob Gronkowski. A lot of people are like, why is there a Gronk figure? Myself included, it is what it is. Uh, Keith Lee is going to be the chase in that one. So that's Keith Lee's first Elite. That will be a really cool figure. I can't wait to pick that one up. Uh, so that's up for pre-order. They're also pre-ordered the WrestleMania 37 set with uh, China, Edge, Goldberg, and uh, HBK. That's a pretty solid set. The weird thing is those WrestleMania sets every year are super big peg warmers. And if you play the long game, which I won't, I should, you'll be able to probably find those six months a year from now for like $9 each. It happens every year with that WrestleMania set and the Survivor Series set. They're a little hard to get when they first come out, but then they're everywhere. Uh, all over online, discounted down. Uh, so, you know, do what you want to do with that one. You might want to play the long game. Uh, we also saw 2021 top picks. Uh, usual suspects in there, Braun Strowman, John Cena, uh, Roman Reigns, and then The Rock. I'm very interested to see if these are brand new figures or just repack figures. Uh, the set that's just coming out now, I need to get, I think, the Kofi and the Drew. I think they are different. But, like, The Fiend is the exact same figure. it would be interesting to see if this John Cena is the same or Roman. Maybe they'll give Roman his new t-shirt to make some differences. I don't know. It'll be really interesting. So, I'm going to wait and see how those are uh, before I order. I'm not going to blindly order figures I don't probably need. And then an interesting tidbit, uh, the Fan Central line, which is coming out, should be pretty much the end of the year, I think. They announced that uh, come next summer, Amazon is going to be the Fan uh, Central exclusive. Uh supplier i guess of those figures but they also said that uh, it's going to be jeff hardy so they showed us these three jeff hardy pictures I, I don't know it's basically the exact same figure with different head scans why don't they just put three heads in there there's always two or three heads in these ultimate editions just put all those heads in there and you take your pick which one you want but if you want you can vote online search it out you can vote for what figure you want uh, so there's a little bit of wrestling news this week uh, very interesting uh, hopefully some of you guys follow me along on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter at the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on Instagram. You guys might have saw that this week, due to popular demand, getting you know beat down on my email, beat down on the phone, people knocking at my door saying, Kyle, when are you going to have a t-shirt out there for us? Well, the time has come. So I got a, a few shirts. If you guys check it out, belowthecollar.com. It's a Pro Wrestling Tees sister site. Uh, I was going to be on the Pro Wrestling Tees site, but they reviewed the channel and everything else. It since we are not 100% wrestling, can't really be on Pro Wrestling Tees. So I'm on the Below the Collar with uh, comedians and uh, things like that. I don't know, maybe a halfway comedy show. Uh, but anyways, Below the Collar, same experience, same place, same everything as Pro Wrestling Tees. Same quality, same type of t-shirts, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so check it out. Link will be uh, in the video. It's on my social media. It's everywhere. You can find it. Uh, but got a couple of designs up there. I got the uh, famous See You Later shirt, which is kind of funny that people picked up on the See You Later. Just something I naturally do when I throw things. See You Later. Um, but that is one t-shirt. So that's one offering up there. Made by Johnny Clash. Uh, for you guys, indie talent, Johnny Clash. Good guy. Uh, does some of Brian Myers' design artwork. Uh, a lot of other people. So really cool that. And then uh, he also designed a couple of new shirts for me. Uh, Kyle Peterson, man of action, dot, 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 figures. Uh, that's a cool one, I thought. Kind of Orange Cassidy inspired. And also a sleeper. I don't know how many of you guys know. Uh, I've never really talked about it. But I have done pizza reviews for a lot of years. I am a pizza connoisseur in my travels. And I've tried about every pizza place in the Midwest. Uh, you know, this year it's been a lot of frozen pizza reviews. But uh, I have known in some circles and on the radio and TV as... The Iowa Pizza King. So I, I did make a t-shirt on there too as well. And you can follow all my pizza exploits if you really want to. Uh, no figure real talk on there, but my pizza exploits on uh, the Iowa Pizza King. If you search for it on Facebook, I got a, a page up there where I uh, do my reviews. So there you go if you need some pizza info. But anyways, back to the t-shirt store below the collar. I decided, hey, we're going to kick this off right. Uh, some people have already ordered t-shirts. I'm surprised. I figured maybe one or two people would want some, but I don't know. We're up to 10 or 11 shirts right now. 
crazy and better than expected. So I thank all you guys that have purchased already. But I wanted to sweeten the pot a little bit. I said, okay, I got figures for giveaways. I'm just trying to figure out a place to do it. I said, no better time than now. So go to belowthecollar.com this week. Uh, buy a t-shirt. Buy it by next Friday. So today, you know, being Saturday, you got a full week to buy a t-shirt. Uh, and when you do buy one, they send me a little email that this person bought one or whatever. Um, so buy a t-shirt this week. Obviously, you got to be subscribed to the channel, like the video, comment in the video, buy a t-shirt, and I will pull a name out of the hat this week. And whoever buys a shirt, you know, and if you buy two shirts, you get two entries. That's the way it goes. And if you guys already bought a shirt, you're going to be thrown in there. But I'll give away our truth and Drake Maverick figure to the lucky winner, um, and I will have it on next week's uh, weekly purchases video. So I usually film these weekly purchase videos uh, Friday night uh, or early Saturday morning. Um, so make sure by uh, you know like 8 a.m. Friday next week that you purchase a shirt. And if you do, you'll be in the drawing for our truth and Drake Maverick. Not a big, not a bad deal, I'd say. I don't know. It's not like I'm gonna sell a thousand shirts or anything. Uh, so I think the odds are probably pretty good. So go to below the collar. Dot com search Kyle Peterson I think I'm on the home page actually uh, so you can you'll see my picture you'll you'll find me uh, pick your pick your poison buy all the shirts if you want like I said for each uh, shirt you buy you get an entry so if you buy one or two whatever obviously like most people I prefer the soft style shirts they're an extra three bucks but they're totally worth it whenever I buy from Pro Wrestling Tees that's what I always get um, so there you go little t-shirt game going on. Uh, something fun, something different. We'll see where this all goes. Uh, and yeah, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to comment on this post as well. Uh, so there you go. Uh, the only other thing this week, really, album of the week. Uh, this week, I listened to a lot of Overkill. If you guys like your thrash metal, they've been around forever, since the uh, mid-80s, obviously. Uh, one of the legends of thrash metal. Overkill is one of my favorites. Bobby Blitz, seen him in concert many a times. Great band, but I love, I think my favorite album from Overkill is Iron Bound. It came out maybe eight, nine, maybe even ten years ago. I can't even remember off the top of my head, but I listened to that a few times this week. The Green and Black is my favorite song on there. So uh, as I was traveling Kansas City, I was listening to a lot of Overkill um, for whatever reason. So there you go. All right, let's get into it. Let's get into a big week of weekly purchases. All right, let's get down to business. Let's get down to our favorite part of the show, weekly purchases, where we take a look at what came through the door this week. You know, I say it about every single week. Hey, this week, next week's going to be real light. It was big this week, but next week, going to be a light week, guys. Just be ready for it. Well, I said it last week, and this week is a heavy week. Uh, I talked a little bit at the beginning of the show, my figure hunting to Kansas City and uh, the Missouri area. I had a lot of stuff that I found I was not expecting to find. And then I had a few things come through the door that I didn't expect. Found a few other things. <clears throat> it's just one of those weeks where things just snowballed and bam, all of a sudden you got a big week. So I'm saying it right now, like I say every week, next week's going to be a slow week. Unless some of these pre-orders magically come in. Maybe that Venomized Captain America Walmart exclusive will start showing up, but I haven't seen that anywhere. Still waiting for those Ninja Turtles, uh, the new two-pack cartoon. Maybe that'll be in next week, but... As we sit right now, next week should be a little bit slower. Next week might be more working on collection stuff. So we'll talk about that next week. But as you guys know, I'm remodeling a lot of my toy rooms and uh, my collections and stuff like that. So I got some things I'm doing with that and some things I'm buying for that, which isn't necessarily action figures, but action figure related. So there you go. Without further ado, let's jump into it. We got a heavy hitter, which is timely. Here it is. Giant Gonzalez Classic Superstars. You're saying, Kyle, you already have all the classic superstars. Yes, I do. I also have this one loose. However, I've talked about variants and stuff like this. This is the real fur edition Giant Gonzalez. I never wanted this figure, really. But then I saw it come up for a good price this week. Pulled the trigger, jumped on it, bought it. Uh, so happy to have this one in the collection, even though I wasn't really planning on getting it. But a good figure nonetheless. And it's very timely, as this is Classic Superstar Series 16, Tuesday, I will be dropping Classic Superstar 16 uh, video, and this will obviously be a part of it. So, very timely, I guess I got it now. So, there it is, Giant Gonzalez. Actually, one of the best Classic Superstars ever. We'll talk more about that on Tuesday. So, uh, pay attention, play along. Marvel Legends, we talked about it last week. Hasbro Con, a lot of stuff went up for pre-order, and a lot of stuff went up for sale right away. 
including this fan channel, uh, not fan channel, I guess fan voted uh, figure for 2020, 2021, and it was Silk. So fan vote 20, Hasbro Marvel Legends, Silk. Uh, not super familiar with this character. I'm not going to lie and say I am, but I did miss the first one. So this was uh, the second version. So I did pick this up this week via Hasbro Pulse. So there you go. How about flight stands? I ordered about 15 flight stands off Amazon. Uh, here's what they look like put together. I got plans. Like I said, I'm working on my action figure collection. I will have uh, some of these mixed throughout. So I picked these up from Amazon um, this week. So I got a bunch of those. And then uh, you guys probably saw last Sunday's unboxing review. This one, Storm and Thunderbird. Usually I wait for weekly purchases, but I got this Saturday night. It was amazing. This was street dated for 10-4. I was getting some groceries at uh, Target on a Saturday night. Not the best time to figure hunt. Usually the best time to figure hunt's in the morning, as most of you guys probably know. Uh, but Saturday night we're buying uh, some uh, food and whatever. I walked to the toy aisle because you have to. Why wouldn't you? And this was just chilling. One of them on the, on the shelf by itself. I thought for sure I'd be denied at the register. I wasn't. I picked it up. Could not wait to unbox it. So I unboxed it last Saturday or last Sunday. So there you go. The Storm uh, Thunderbird. Very cool. I recommend watching that video. But I did get that technically this week as it wasn't in last week's weekly purchases. Um, next up, uh, this will be a video sometime later this week. How about our old pal Chucky? The big pop vinyl from Walmart. I absolutely love this thing. I actually got it for my daughter. You guys saw my uh, video yesterday of the figure hunting. Found this down there. I don't know if it's a Walmart exclusive. It probably is for the holiday. Uh, but my daughter is obsessed with Chucky at five years old. I have an unboxing review where I got back from my week-long trip. I sat down with her. I said, hey, we're going to do this, and I got a surprise for you. So just the look on her face when I unveil this thing is uh, worth it, that's for sure. And we got a few other Chucky surprises in that video. So just be a quick little bonus video sometime this week. But uh, this Chucky is way cooler than expected. I don't really like pop vinyls. You guys know that. I'm not really all into them. But these big ones like this, boy, I don't know. I, I, I'm getting a little itchy for these. I, I've seen that Skeletor around. I'm tempted to buy that big Skeletor like this. So there's Chucky. Please watch that video. You guys might enjoy it. We'll see. You guys also saw this week Walgreens Hunt. What did I found? I found me another Red Ninja. I'm planning on having three loose ninjas, one on card. This one is the mintiest of mint, so I will keep this on card. Still need to find one more ninja. I'm sure it'll happen. It's not that hard. Uh, for for figures that are released to every single store, it won't be as hard as for, say, the Cobra Island Cobra Trooper that's only available at Target. Like I said, these ninjas, they're going to Walgreens right now. So if you've got a Walgreens around you and you're looking for some of those G.I. Joes, Circle the wagons and get after it because you'll be able to find Cobra Commander, Gung Ho, and hopefully the Red Ninja at your Walgreens if you're desperate for some G.I. Joe. Um, this week also I found we did an unboxing video of Earth 1, Earth Negative 1, Devastator, Batman, I don't know what you want to call it. Caught my eye. You guys know I love big figures and that's what that was. So I unboxed it for the first time, one of these McFarland DC figures. I unboxed it on the channel this week. Check out that review. Well, I went to Target. They had this Batman animated series, five ninety eight. So, geez, for five bucks, normally twenty dollars. I can't pass this up. So, I don't know if I'll unbox this one or or what I'll do. But for five ninety eight, I, I couldn't pass it up. I should have probably bought. There was like thirteen of them. I should have probably bought them, stuck them away in a box somewhere in a closet. And ten years from now, I could probably double my money. I might be able to get ten dollars out of it. I don't know. We'll see. But there it goes. How about, speaking of Hasbro Con, you, like we said, it was a big week. I did get the Power Ranger exclusive, the Lord Dre Con exclusive. I was on the fence on this one. I was on the fence about getting this one and the Ghostbusters Tully. I decided to pull the trigger on this one. Is the Tully, I don't know. I don't know about that Ghostbuster line. They're peg warm and everywhere. Is it totally done? Uh, maybe that Tully will go cheaper on discount because I think you can still order it. I don't think it's sold out. But I did get this Power Ranger one. Uh, it's Tommy, you know, the Green Ranger, White Ranger. It's uh, the alternate universe, but this is the one where he comes with, like, the damaged heads and stuff. Kind of an impulse decision. We'll see. I might use it. Uh, I'm not a big fan of this box. Uh, you know, a lot of people keep them in the box, but you can't even tell what's in here. It's kind of like that Mr. T, uh, San Diego Comic-Con Elite. You can't see what's going on. So leaving this in the package isn't probably going to work. Obviously, it's going to be worth more in the package, but I think I'm going to have to open up this bad boy. So we'll probably do a review on this one uh, before you know it. And speaking of Power Rangers, Hasbro Pulse, 
They also released the uh, Putty 2-pack. There it is. Uh, I believe Hasbro Pulse exclusive. You know, you got to army build these guys. I have one currently. There's uh, The Z Putties are coming out, I think, maybe later this year. Had to pick up two of these. Had to help out that old outlaw Waylon Jennings. You know, up there, up north Iowa, uh, working away. Uh, I picked this up. Hey, I got free shipping from Hasbro Pulse. We got to do a little trade ski next week. He picks up something I need. I picked up something he needs. We're going to do a little swapping. So this one's Waylon. Waylon, you get a sneak peek at your putties. So there you go. And then this week, this is a big find. I was on the fence. I said, am I going to buy this? Am I not going to buy this? I, I don't know. I don't know. You guys saw I did see the Hiss Tank. I passed on the Hiss Tank. As much as I love a Hiss Tank, you guys know I'm six-inch scale figures. I have put my three and three-fourths G.I. Joes to the past. That's the old Kyle. I got my 25th anniversary. I got some other ones, but I'm primarily going to be six-inch. However, the Oz Striker, I found it this week down in Missouri. Uh, I actually found quite a few of these, so they're starting to hit your Walmarts if you uh, need one. Uh, I had to pick this one up for sentimental, sentimental reasons. Maybe I'll do an unboxing. I will do an unboxing on this. I was thinking about leaving it in the package, but I'm going to do an unboxing. I got quite the story of uh, six-year-old Kyle in kindergarten bringing the awe striker to show and tell. I'll leave you with that, but it's going to be a uh, it's going to be one for the heartstrings. Uh, bring Kleenex to that video. Uh, but the awe striker through the door. Yo, Joe. Um, then how about David C. Anderson, our old friend of the channel? He came through. He was, he was going through his closet. And he said, hey, Kyle, I got something that, you know, you need to wear. This needs to be for you. And uh, I couldn't think of a better person to give it to. So old David C. Anderson hooked me up. Look at that. We all know who this is. Number 33, the greatest number in sports, Jose Canseco, Patrick Ewing, Larry Bird. I mean, it goes on for days of all the greats that wore number 33. Uh, Larry Bird, Celtics jersey. Went to a great home. You know, I am uh, dubbed the Larry Bird of uh, figure collecting. Who knows? But uh, I, very cool. David, thank you. Uh, I'll find a home for that. I should frame that up and put that somewhere. We'll see where that ends up going. But uh, very cool from one Larry Bird to another. Uh, Larry Bird through the house. Talking a little collecting this week. I've talked about it. You know, I'm working on remodeling a lot of stuff. Obviously, these are staying behind me. My classic superstars room is staying put. Uh, but a lot of other changes in the other rooms, the Marvel Legends room, uh, building a G.I. Joe, Thundercats, He-Man, Star Wars room, uh, and rearranging a few things here and there. Uh, and, of course, the Jack's Ruthless Aggression room that's being added. So doing a lot of changes. I went back to Ikea since I was in Kansas City. I said, hey, while I'm down here, I might as well pick up some stuff. I got one of those Calyx shelves. If you guys have seen my video, that's what the Detolfs sit on. So uh, ready for some expansion there. And then what goes in those Calyxes, I get this question a lot. I've talked about it on a few videos. But these uh, doors, they're, uh, you buy them separately from the Calyx, but they're little door cubes that go in those cubes. That's why people don't think they're Calyx shells because they got these. Well, you can buy these separately. They're a little pricey. They're about 20 bucks. So I had to buy eight of these plus another Calyx cube. But, uh, you know, it's part of, if you're going to be a collector and you're going to show it off and have it displayed correctly, you got to, you know, spend some investment in there. As much as it's not as fun as buying a figure, uh, that's what you got to do if you want to keep it going and keep uh, uniformity and all that fun stuff. So, much more to come when we get to that figure uh, tour collection video uh, down the line. Another one that came in, this one came in Saturday. We talked about that Storm Thunderbird. I also got from Amazon, Negasonic Teenage Warhead Deadpool Movie 2-Pack. So very cool, very happy to get this one. I really like the looks of this Deadpool movie version. I uh, can't wait to open this one up, but got this through the door. This is one of those surprises. I thought this was coming in November, but uh, apparently got moved up and I missed it. And it was a nice surprise on Saturday night, waiting at my door. It's weird, Amazon delivering package, 9 o'clock Saturday night. Good for them, getting after it. Back to a little ruthless aggression. I couldn't believe what showed up this week. One of my most wanted Ruthless Aggressions. Been really difficult to find this one. You can find him loose every once in a while, but the stripes or the paint is all removed. It's bad. The paint is comes off this one very easily. So this is definitely the, one of the hardest to find figures. Definitely the hardest to find Eric Bischoff figure. Uh, Cyber Sunday, referee Eric Bischoff. Finally found it. It popped up. Uh, was it last Sunday night? Maybe something like that. Uh, it was $18 or something like that. Buy it now. I jumped as fast as I could. As, uh, that was a screaming deal on this one. So happy to have that off the list. Just a handful of the Ruthless Aggression figures to go, guys. You saw those two packs last week I got. 
Uh, I need to get that Big Show Andre the Giant 2-pack still. I still need that one of 3,000 Mick Foley. That one's been the hardest one to find. And then a couple of stragglers, like a couple of variant Randy Hortons that are 5 or 6 bucks. I just got to really go through my checklist and look close at the tights and the color, stuff like that. But there's a possibility if the stars align, I might have that Ruthless Aggression set done by the end of the year. Um, more to come, as you know. If you guys know where to get that Mick Foley at a good price, hit me up. I need to get it. It's a little boxed one. This week, uh, you guys saw this in the video as well, I took matters into my own hands. I found the pallet. There was nobody around. I grabbed the pallet off the, or I grabbed the box off the pallet, opened it up myself, and I got the new Marvel Legends series, uh, the new Venomized Wave. So you got Phage this week. Really excited about this one. A new Carnage figure. And of course, the one I'm probably the most excited about is the movie Venom. I know a lot of people did not like the Venom movie. Uh, I remember seeing it and saying, oh, everybody tells me it's terrible. I actually liked it. So there's going to be a second one with Carnage, of course. There's the Venom. Miles Morales in there. What else we got? Ghost Spider. And finally, Morbius the Living Vampire. Look at that. So as you guys know, uh, this builds the Venom Pool. It's the Venom uh, Deadpool crossover. But very happy to have this guy out. You know, it, it started hitting, I think, I think Friday, Saturday of last week. And then uh, Monday morning, bam, my local Walmart got this. So it was a great find right away. And then as I went to Kansas City, I found this set all over again a couple days later. So really cool. Uh, look at your Walmarts, guys. They're restocking and they're resetting and putting some new stuff out these this week. Next week, I assume a lot of this will catch up if you haven't got it. Same with that Aw Striker and a few other things. But I can't wait to do the unboxing video. So unboxing video to come on this one very, very soon. All right, boy, we still got some more to go. The phones stop the presses. I got to cut in because I almost forgot another weekly purchase. As you guys know, I am probably the biggest dollhouse collector there is. A dollhouse expert. 2020 is known as the year Kyle started collecting dollhouses. And it's time for the next project. Here it is. Give me a second. Let me grab it. It's a big one. Look at what we got here. So big it doesn't even all fit on the screen. I am the pre adamant dollhouse collector these days. You guys know. You guys saw my X-Mansion from a, a week ago or so. Had so much fun doing that. I said, what can I do next? Uh, and I don't know if you guys have paid attention. I don't know if it's anything related to the channel last week. But uh, I've had a few of these saved in eBay and Mercari listings. And they sold out this week. A lot of these sold. I don't know what's been going on. I don't know if it was my video. Probably not, but really weird in the last week how many sold. Um, but I did get this one off Mercari very cheap um, for about $50. Same I paid last time. Didn't have any of the inside stuff this time. So kids, sorry, no extras for you. But I did get this one, and I'm deciding what to do with it. So leave me a comment if you got any ideas. What could I turn this into in my Marvel Universe? Uh, obviously, I did the X-Mansion Mansion last time. What could this be? Could it be like the Avenger Mansion where the Avengers live? That's kind of where my mind was going. But does anybody else have any good ideas out there? Uh, you know, I've searched around. I've been trying to think of stuff, what I could turn this into. Uh, the Avenger Mansion makes the most sense. As I did find a picture that looks not too far off from this one. Um, so we'll see. Uh, I'll have to figure this out. This one needs a deep clean. And there's a couple of cracks in the plastic. So I'm going to have to fix that plastic cracks. But... For the most part, for about $50, a really good deal. And a nice thing to display my Avengers characters, possibly. Unless somebody else has a better idea for me out there. Like I said, leave me a comment with your ideas. But uh, planning on painting this one, fixing it up, cleaning it. And uh, we'll have this as part of the display uh, in the near future. So, wanted to break in with that because I almost forgot to show this off this week. Here's another one I found this week. Uh... It's been around a while. I hadn't really hit my Walmarts. Uh, my old buddy Waylon Jennings, of course. He's always on the hunt for these for us. Uh, but I found it myself. If I can get it. Let's see. Jeez. NECA Ninja Turtles 2-pack foot soldiers. So I'm building a little foot soldier army. I believe I have two of the single ones already. Here's two more. And then I got another two coming. So I'll have six. I think that's a good number for an army build is six. It's either four or six. Um, so I got this one uh, this week in Kansas City, as you guys probably saw in my video. So there you have it. Uh, how about some Lucy's? We'll do some Lucy's. I almost forgot about these. I was going to pass them up. So 
Uh, some of the old Marvel Legends that I picked up. Uh, Giant Man, this one I slept on back in the day. Got a minty loose one at a good price. Happy to have him here. One I've been wanting to get forever. I finally got it. Classic Nick Fury. Back from when I was a kid. This is Nick Fury was before Samuel L. Jackson. Finally picked this guy up. Very happy to have him. And then Toxin. An older Marvel Legend. I got Symbiote Madness. I got that Marvel Legends wave. And I have a bunch of the old ones. This was the one I was missing. I said, why didn't I have this? I better pick it up. Definitely not as good as that Monster Venom big toxin we did an unboxing video of maybe a month or so ago. Uh, but I needed this one to, I don't know, complete the set or whatever you want to call it. But very happy to get that. And then I got, you guys know my micro brawlers. I like some of the classic guys like the Honky Taunt Man, Ultimate Warrior, LOD, etc. I also like the ECW guys. So Tommy Dreamer, even though this isn't ECW, Tommy Dreamer, this is modern day. I love that he came with the cane. I love the blood. Very, very cool. Uh, so I had to pick up this Tommy Dreamer. Let's do a live micro brawler uh, unboxing right now. I'll just, oh, look at that. I accidentally cut it. When I was opening the package, I accidentally cut it open. Good thing I opened these anyways. But uh, there is Tommy Dreamer. I like this one a lot. I think you can get this probably for 10 11 bucks online. It's a, it's a good deal. And go on my micro baller shelf. So really cool. See you later. Uh, how about from our friends at the Chick Foley Show. If you guys have ever seen a Chick Foley Show podcast, look it up where podcasts are found. Uh, they had a giveaway on their Facebook group. You just had to comment. Bonsai. I did it, you know, as I always do. I always comment. I've won a lot of things over the years. You just comment or whatever, play along. And I got the Yokozuna Bendem. So there you go. This, uh, You know, you guys probably know I got rid of my Bendem collection a few years ago. Uh, just I didn't collect those. They didn't have a, a real fondness for me. But this guy will uh, sit good on my office desk, kind of by himself. Um, that's my plan with that. So thank you to the Chick Foley Show. Check them out wherever podcasts are found. How about a John Cena? I got in a lot. Just kind of a, a junky John Cena that I was missing. Uh, he needs a fig bath in the worst way. I can smell him from here. So John Cena. And then uh, to get uh, free shipping along with it, I believe that's what it was. I had to pick up one. I knew I didn't have this Chris Jericho, but I couldn't remember what Chris Jericho this was. Then I realized it's the classic superstars Chris Jericho. So I definitely did not have this one. So for five bucks, I'll, I'll take this Jericho all day long. So there's that. And then finally, for Lucy's, how about R-Truth? Now, you're probably saying, Kyle, wait a minute. You have every Elite ever. What are you doing buying this R-Truth? Well, I was going through and uh, you know checking out some stuff, reorganize, reorganizing, tightening things up. And my R-Truth uh, white coat on his had a smudge and a little tear in it. So it wasn't up to my standards. So I said, I need to get a new R-Truth. And it's terrible trying to find just this jacket by itself. Haven't been able to find it for a long time. I've, I've played the long game. I set alerts. Well, I got this whole figure with the jacket for $20 shipped. I said, that's good. I'll take the jacket off, put that on my other one. I can flip this, maybe get $10, $11, $12, $15, whatever for this uh, earlier R-Truth. So that is my plan. This is more heel R-Truth. Uh, when he came out with the cigarette, feud with John Cena. Um, so there you go. Sometimes you got to upgrade your collection a little bit. If you got... Something wrong, something whatever. Uh, so that's what I did. Uh, we got three things left. And you guys that watch my hunt video probably know what it is. But very excited for this line. I don't know what to think. We don't talk about it very often on the show. Is Transformers. Obviously, I love the 80s cartoons. G.I. Joe, Transformers, Thundercats, E-Man, Turtles, you name it. Uh, but we don't talk a lot of Transformers, and I've basically stopped buying Transformer toys. They released so many Optimus Primes, so many Megatrons, so many figures over and over and over. It just got to be too much. I primarily really like the really deluxe ones, the big Omega, uh, you know, uh, stuff like that, M Metroplex and things. I like those big ones, Devastator, Bruticus, those kind of things are really my favorite. And then, of course, the Core, Ultra Magnus, Prime, Hot Rod, uh, you know, Bumblebee, those kind of things. Well... Hasbro, for some of you guys that maybe don't know, Hasbro just announced this year, they just hit Walmart this week. I was shocked to find them as I hadn't seen reports of them hitting. Uh, it's called the Transformers Red Line. These are non-transforming Transformers. They're basically six-inch scale Transformers figures that don't transform. My wheelhouse, my day and age, I don't need Transformers that transform. I'm past that. I have the ones I want. I'm not adding to that collection, really. Maybe one or two Transformers a year, that's it. However, this Red Line... Really piques my interest because they're 
figures, six inch scaled figures. I kind of wish they scaled with GI Joes. Maybe if they were like 10 inches, just a little taller or something. I don't know, but I'm okay with this six inch line. I'm going to unbox these. I'm going to see if they're good. These are three very main characters, Optimus Prime, Megatron, and Soundwave, of course. Uh, so really three really good heavy hitters to, to kick it off. I think I saw at Hasbro Con, they announced some of the uh, Beast Wars ones for the second series. I don't want that. If I do stick with this line, I'm going to stick with classic guys. I don't want Beast Wars. I don't want different designs. I want my classic Transformers. And that's what these three represent. So when I unbox these, we'll see. Are they worth it? I don't know. I think they look kind of cheap in the package. I thought they looked better in the prototypes I saw. But you don't know until you get them out of the package. So really cool, this line. I like the out-of-the-box out of thinking. I always thought this would be a great idea of some non-transforming Transformers, which seems kind of weird, but I think it could work. We'll know soon as I review these, probably next week. I'll probably open these up. I'm pretty excited to see what goes on with these. Uh, and I think, yep, that is it, guys. That's another big weekly purchase. A lot of stuff through the door, as you guys know. We'll see what next week brings. But uh, once again, just a reminder, below the collar, Kyle Peterson t-shirts, Get your chance to get that Drake Maverick R-Truth. You just got to be subscribed to my channel, comment on it, buy it. They will send uh, the link to me saying, hey, you guys bought this or whoever did. You'll go into a hat and I'll have a drawing next Saturday's weekly purchase video. So pick up a t-shirt. Great to mow in, I imagine. Mow the yard in it, uh, you know, play baseball in it. Do whatever you got to do in that t-shirt. But uh, there you go. So uh, that's it this week. I don't know. I don't know what else there is to say uh, besides subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment. Let me know what you picked up this week. Uh, a lot of good stuff out there. Um, so for Kyle, I'm Kyle, of course. I'm so far out, I'm in. I'll see you guys next week.